In this video, we are going to look at another Forex trading strategy for free. And this is going to add up to the already strategies we've talked about. And this is going to be the fourth strategy. We've talked about three strategies so far. The playlist is there. When you go to the description of this video, you will see the strategy playlist. You can begin to watch all the videos over there so that you can also get to know the strategies that we are sharing here for free. Now, these strategies are from professional Forex traders who have been using these strategies to make profit in the market. So I have taken my time to research and to gather them so that you can also try and see if any of them can be of good use to your Forex trading. So today, the fourth strategy is going to be on Fibonacci, Fibonacci. And the trading strategy is named as Fibo strategy, Fibo strategy. So the word Fibo is an abbreviation or a short form of Fibonacci. Now, we are not going to use the Fibonacci tool on the MT4, but the owner of this strategy has customized his own indicator in a form of Fibonacci. And that is what he uses to trade. So I have been able to get this tool and I'm going to link the description of this video. I'm going to put the link to download this indicator there. So when you go to the description of this video, you will find indicator link. Once you click on that, it should take you to where you can download this indicator, all right? So we are going to install this indicator on our MT4. It is an N MT4 indicator, so you have to install it on your MT4. Now, once you get it installed, I am going straight to the my MT4. I'll go straight there for you to see how it will look like on your MT4. And then how this trader uses this tool to trade. That is the same way I am going to show you so that you test it. Today is Saturday. So when the market opens on Sunday, you will try the strategy for us to see if it works or if there will be some tweaks and settings you probably have to do on your own. Then you modify that and then you can get a good strategy and use for your forex trading. So are you ready? Today, we are talking about the FIBO strategy or the Fibonacci strategy. So when you go to the description of this video, you will find the link. You will see the indicator link. Click on it to download this indicator. That is the Fibonacci indicator this trader uses. So let's go straight to the MT4. Let's go straight to the MT4. Let me show you how it looks like on the MT4. Good. So here we are on the MT4. And what you see here on the MT4 is the FIBO or the Fibonacci indicator by this trader. And you see that this looks a bit different from the already Fibonacci tool we use. If you are looking for the Fibonacci tool on the MT4, the customized one, the one which is already in this um, MT4, when you go to the tools session, or when you come to insert, you see Fibonacci here. You see, when you come to insert, the menu up here, insert, you see Fibonacci. And then you see retracement, time zone, fans, and the rest. So this is not the type that we are using. This trader has customized his own Fibonacci. And he wants us to use that to trade because that is what he uses to trade. Now, how do we use this Fibonacci? Let's go straight to that. Now, there are two ways this trader is using this Fibonacci to trade. Now, the first way he uses it is to look at the daily high and then the daily low. So you can see the daily low here on this line. You see the daily low here. And then the daily high is also here. The daily high is also here. You see these two areas? Good. That is one of the ways the trader uses this Fibonacci. And then the second way this trader uses this Fibonacci 
is to look at the end part of the Fibonacci, which is the 200 line, which is up here. The up here, and then the down here. So the down line here is negative 100. The up here is positive 200. So we are going to look at all these two ways and see which one can be better or which one can be good to use. Now let's look at the second part, which has to do the endpoints of this Fibonacci. Now, the author or the inventor of this strategy is saying that you should look at the end point of this Fibonacci. If the market comes to that last part of the line, here, this is negative 100. This currency is what? This is Euro NZD. So when it comes to the last line here, then you can take a buy up. When it comes to the bottom line here, you can take a buy to the upside. Are you getting it? That is the first rule. And the second rule is that when it comes up to the last line up here, you can take a sell down. You can take a sell down. That is when it comes to the last line up here. You can take a sell down. That is what this author is saying. That is the first rule. So for instance, if you look at Euro NZD, it's almost getting to the last line here. It's almost getting to the last line here, which means once it gets closer or it gets to this point, you should begin to look at a buy. That is what this author is saying or the inventor of this tool is saying. Now, I also have something small I want to add to this. I mean, the first strategy where you take the last part of the top or the bottom. So you either take the top part of the Fibonacci to sell or you take the down part of the Fibonacci mm -hmm. to buy. Now, there are instances where this Fibonacci line down here, the trade can come outside of it. And the trade can also go outside of this top line here. Now, take notes. All indicators are not 100% correct or accurate. So you need to make room for unforeseen or other adjustments that may be happening in the market because all trading tools are not 100% accurate. They may lag or they may show you some prints at times that will go the wrong way. So you always need to make room for that. Now, if I will show you a typical example, on Friday, I think I placed this thing, uh, I started researching about this or trying to test this on Friday market. And I realized something, and I want to show you that. AUD card. Now, this is AUD card. If you look at it, on Friday, you realize that AUD card went past the upper line. Have you seen that? It's gone past the upper line. Now, one thing you should note is that I am not just picking the tools and then just explaining them here. I, I try to put them in a live market for a day or two to see how they behave so that if I'm talking about them, I can give you more information about them so that that information will help you in your search or in your guide or in your testing process. So you realize that on Friday, AUD card went past the upper line. And as we speak now, it is still gone past the upper line. Now, I am waiting for something to happen. Now, I'm either waiting to see if the market opens on Sunday night here in Ghana. I don't know what time it will be in your country. But in Ghana, it opens at 10 p.m. on Sundays. I'm waiting to see if the market opens on Sunday night whether this tool will readjust itself or not. And what I mean by readjust itself is that it will shift upwards. I'm looking for whether it will shift upwards 
and come up somewhere here with the lines or it will remain as it is. I don't know if you get it, but that is one of the things I'm looking out for to see. It's just unfortunate that I, start, I started testing this just yesterday, but there are a lot of information I found that I need to share with you. So that is the very first thing. Sometimes this tool can come out or this uh, trade can come out of the upper line and still be kind of heading towards the upside. But when you look at AUD card, for instance, you will see that the kind of candles that are being printed over here at the top here are showing a lower momentum to the upside. It means those traders holding the bull market are getting exhausted. That is what I see. So it is good and it is can be true that any moment from now, this market can come back down to a sell. And if that happens, what is going to be? Looking at the area at which it gone past the upper line. This is the upper line. Between the upper line to where the price is currently, it's just uh, 20, let's say 21 pips. 21 pips. So the trade has moved past the upper line 21 pips. So even if you should take your trade, assuming when the trade got to this point, when the trade got to the upper line, you took your trade, okay? You took a sell. You can give yourself maybe a stop loss of 50 pips, okay? As you are testing this, you can give yourself a stop loss of 50 pips. So if you give yourself a stop loss of 50 pips, it means that this is not yet up to 50 pips stop loss. And let's see if that between this upper line to the 50 pips, this trade will reverse back and come back in. And then also, like I said, I am waiting to see if on Sunday the market opens, AUD card, this tool will repaint by reshifting or repositioning itself, or it will remain as it is. That will give us a better understanding of how this Fibonacci tool will behave. Are we good? Okay. Now, there's also another thing I want to talk about. And that has to do with some other pairs. For instance, if you take Euro USD, for instance, uh, let me see. No, not this one. Just give me some few minutes. Let me get it right. I want to show you something. Okay, I think it's it's one of the currencies. Okay, was it Euro Chef? Good. Euro Chef is giving us one example. Now, if you look at Euro Chef, you will see that on Friday. When the market got to that last line below here, the trade respected and started making its way up. Did you see that? Good. So it is not as if that what the author is saying is false. It is sometimes true. So Euroshare, for instance, you will see that it came to the last part of the line here and then it respected it and it's beginning to make its way up. Now. If it is making its way up, what should be your target? Once it respects the down line here or the upper line, what should be your take profit? Your take profit should be the daily high. And the daily high, if you look at it, is up here. This is your daily high. This can be your first take profit. Sorry, your second take profit. If you want your first take profit, your first take profit can be the daily low, which is here. You can use this daily low here as your first take profit if you are buying and use the daily high as your second take profit. So that would be, if you are looking for small pips, then you can use the first here, which is the daily low as your target. If you are looking for more take profits, you can use the upper line here, which is the daily high, as your take profit. Is that okay? But like I said, if you should enter a trade somewhere here, give it a stop loss of somewhere 50 pips and see. Is that okay? Good. There's also another thing. 
I have to show you. Let me see. Let me go through the rest quickly. Okay, this one is almost getting ready, which is Euro NZD per the author's instructions. Let me see GBP USD. Okay, good. I'm seeing something here that I need to talk about now. This is uh, GBP USD, and if you look at GBP USD, you will see that after the price crossed the second line a bit, the second to last line on the upside, it started making its way back down. It didn't actually get exactly to the upper line. So some of these things are also possible. It's also possible that sometimes this trade may not get to the upper line exactly, but may retrace after the second line here. And if you look at the second to last line on the upside, you see that it is on a resistance. It is on a resistance. And the last line, the upper line, last line is also on a resistance. So any of this is a good point. So it's respected the second one, which is here. It is possible that this one can be maybe a short entry or a long entry. When I say a short entry, it means it will only make a short trend and then return back up, or it will make a very long trade down. So it is also possible to see that, that this trade can sometimes just make a U10 on the second line, the second to last line, if it is to the upside. And then to the downside, the second to last line on the downside. It can also reverse on those lines. So this is also another thing I have seen that I think you need to look at. And then let's look at a second aspect of this indicator, which is the FIBO indicator. The author is saying that if the market opens on daily low and daily high, Okay, let me let me get a line to give us the accurate line for you to see. So this is the daily high. Okay. And this is the daily low here. This is the daily low here. So the author is saying that sometimes when price respects any of these, either the daily low or the daily high, you should look at that also as a possible entry. And in our case, you realize that the daily low got respected. If you look at it, it got respected. And at the end of the day, the tree had been making its way all up, making its way all up. Now, again, you realize that the daily high nearly got also got respected a bit. But this was a fake respect. It only did a pullback for, this is on one hour. So one, two, three, almost four hours. And then it made its way back up. So this is what the author is saying. And for me, he's saying that should be a secondary option. A secondary option. And a secondary option means that there's no much confidence in this one. Okay. There's no confidence in this one, but the greater part of the confidence is in the first one, which is the upper line here and the lower line here. Now, let's see. If you look at this, you will see that the daily low got respected. This is the daily low line here. And price came down to touch it respected by giving a retracement back up and it continued its way up. And if you look at it, the daily high also got respected along the line. If you look at it, you will see that the daily low, sorry, the daily high also got respected here. It got respected here and also made its way down to the daily low. So, in both ways, if you consider that as an entry on GBP JPY, you would have made profit from both ends. It respected the top, respected the down. So that is the secondary aspect of this strategy 
that the author is saying. But for me, if you ask me what I think about this strategy, let's look at something else. Okay. Okay. Let's look at something else. If you ask me, if you look at it here, for instance, look at it again. It got respected on the daily low on Friday, sorry, daily high. The price came to this point, touched here and respected and made its way down. And then on Thursday, I, I want to still find out whether this didn't shift. Because on Thursday, if this didn't reposition itself, if this indicator didn't reposition itself, then it means that on Thursday too, it respected the daily low here. And even that same Thursday, it respected the daily high here. But like I said, some indicators can repaint. But I was waiting to see this one do that. But the market closed on Friday, which I didn't get the opportunity to see whether it repositions itself or not. So if it repositions itself, then it means that you may only have to pay attention to the day that the trading activity is going on. If the day that the trading activity is going on, you see a touch on the daily high, like it did on Friday here, then it means you can take a sell. Because on Friday, during the trading day, it touched the daily high, respected it, and then it closed around here, made its way down about 48 pips. But supposing you saw it from the upside, and then you took the trade from the touch here, then it means you would have gotten about 82 pips or so. But like, like I'm saying, it doesn't mean that once the trade comes to touch the daily high, you should start selling. You need to wait to see what happens, whether it is going to reject like it did here. You see that there's a great week. See the candle touched and then it gave a great retracement. That is rejection. Then it means that the daily high is holding. And for that matter, you can sell. But if it breaks through and it keeps going up, then you know that it's finally coming up to the upper part of this line. So for me, I don't know whether you may want to use this lower and upper line as your entry, or you will want to use this one here and this one here as your entry. So you have these two options. But if you ask me which one I may consider, then I can be bold and tell you that left to me alone, I will use the upper line and then the lower line as my entry point. And if that happens, that means I am going to take my entry at the upper part of the line, and then I'll sell, give it a stop loss of 50 pips and see whether I can get my profit. Or I'll take a sell, I'll take a buy from the lower line. The lower line, once it is touched, I'll take a, a buy. And then I'll give a stop loss of 50 pips and see what happens. And like I said, your targets must not be forgotten. Your targets must always be accurate. And like I said, if you are looking at target, then once you take a trade here, once you take a buy here, your daily low here should be your first target. Take profit one should be your daily low here. And take profit two should be your daily high. That is if you are buying. If you are selling, then your take profit one will be the daily high. Your second profit or take profit will be the daily low. That is if you are selling. So that is what I will consider most and see. But then again, I'll be waiting to see whether this repositions itself. And if it does, then there will be extra information for you to know how to approach this tool and how to use it. Is that okay? So the whole of this week, I want you to try this tool. Let's experiment it and see how it works, whether it's going to give us some good traits or bad ones. Is that okay? My name is Kofi, your admin for Leading Forest YouTube channel. If you want one-on-one -on -one mentorship or if you want one-on-one -on -one tutorials, it's good to contact me. 
and make a payment of $100. And then I can take you through that. And it's solely for tutorials about how I trade. That is the way I am going to uh, take you through or make you feel this market. Is that okay? So that is that. Let me know at the comment section what you think about this strategy. And in case you also find another way to use it, please don't forget to let me know the other way you use it. At least maybe you can leave a comment on the YouTube video so that other traders can see the other way around that you are using this uh, tool to make profits in the forest market. And we'll all be good to go. I'll see you in the next strategy. Until then, I love you. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you'll be the first to grab it. Thank you.